Berlin is huge. Part 2. Places to go. Where to start? Well, I'm not gonna review the historical center of Berlin. Not that I didn't went to it, but there is more than enough videos about it on YouTube. Else, I have handpicked three localities in Berlin. Check this out. First place, Friedrichshain. Around Simondachstrasse. Walk and get lost around it. You'll certainly find some nice places like this local brewery. In the morning, Friedrichshain is quiet and you can find great terraces to cure your hangover. The East Side Gallery, a painted part of the Berliner Wall still standing. I had the chance to see it with a friend from East Germany who told me what he did and what he felt when the wall came down on November 9th, 1989. His life just changed on that day. Moving. Road Temple. Like many places in Berlin, this one is really alternative. Flea market, concert, parties, theater, and even a skateboarding hall. Michel Berger Hotel, an hotel, a bar, a restaurant, nearly a place to live on its own. Perfect daybreaker with a refreshing fountain of used coconut water. Second place, Kreuzberg and Neukölln. It's great to see this other face of Berlin, especially after being too much historical. Oranienstrasse, hometown of the Berliner hipsters. My sister told me about the must-see bar named SO36, but I missed it. Would you be kind enough to check it for me? Turkish Markt, big Turkish community in Berlin. I loved it. On Tuesday and Friday mornings, an awesome Turkish market is around May Bakufa. More information are coming in the Berlin food video. Volkspark Hasenheide, big green park in the very south of Kreuzberg at the border of Neukölln. Very cool, very wild. Again, more info are coming in the Berlin is green video. Third locality, around Prenzlauer Berg. The atmosphere is definitely relaxed and there is still cool things to do over there. Mauerpark Flow Markt, known as the king of flea markets in Berlin. You can find almost anything here from vintage stuff to food and concerts and artists. Uber cool. Courtyards, I cannot encourage you to break into, but I'm urging you to visit the beautiful and visitor-friendly courtyards. Well, that's it guys. I know it's only a tiny overview of Berlin, but I do prefer to share places I love than places I've heard about. Of course, I would be glad to hear your favorite places in Berlin, so feel free to comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye!